do it when the leaves aren't out on the trees. So turn around. Can you kind of see in the mist out there, there's another mountain way over there? Guess who owned it? Jefferson. Yeah, Thomas Jefferson owned halfway up that mountain. Kids, he called it Cantops, big panorama. And then right behind you, there's a river. You don't even know it. But there's a river behind you called the Ravana. And then behind the river, Jefferson bought some land, and he called it. I'm going to spell it for you because you'll be amazed. He called that land L-E-G-O. We don't think it had anything to do with plastics, though. And where Thomas Jefferson was born is on the land that's over on the east side. It was called Shadwell. It was his father's plantation. And it was that plantation. There was an old house down there, too. And this land, Monticello, that Jefferson inherited and decided to build his house on the spot. So who designed the house? Thomas Jefferson. Jefferson. Yeah, he used the books of Andrea Palladio, who was a 16th century Italian architect. So you know what this house really is? Thomas Jefferson designed an Italian villa, really, snuggled into the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains with a little bit of French influence. And why the French influence? I know you know that Thomas Jefferson wrote what? The Declaration of what? I, I knew you knew that. And I know you know he was, pre he was which president of the United States? I knew you knew that. But he was also vice president. He was our very first secretary of state. Just before that, he was our ambassador to France. So Jefferson lived in Paris, and he really wanted to use some architecture that he saw there. And he transformed this house. It originally was a two-story, eight-room house. Now it's a three-story, more than 21-room house. You and I, we're going to be able to kind of grow through the first floor. He wrote the Virginia Codicil on Religious Freedom. He didn't want to be remembered as governor of Virginia. He was so bad that he was voted out of office, and we amended the Constitution. Virginia governors can no longer succeed themselves. Thank you, Mr. Jefferson. He also didn't want to be remembered as president. He said it's the lousiest job in the world. You lose all your money and all your friends. The three things you'll see on the objects he wanted to be remembered for. You may notice also that you have the house on the hilltop, but all of the buildings we're going to be visiting are underground, below ground level. If this clears more, you'll see a beautiful view of the Allegheny Mountains all around us here. This is what Jefferson enjoyed. He didn't want buildings standing up and blocking his Go on to Thomas Jefferson's grave.